Hello there. This video is going to be on scripted blocks used in relationship to quests and uh, it was kind of an outshoot of this question. I would like to spawn a cloned NPC into the world by standing in a certain spot while a quest is active. So this is pretty simple to do with scripted blocks and this is in the 1.8.9 scripting format. So what I have here this guy gives a simple little quest here and this quest is looking for sandstone. So um, what I can do is just come over to here and stand here and this guy says look in chest so I come over here and I can look in the chest and here's some sandstone. Quest complete. So that's pretty simple to do. Um, this scripted block when uh, what I have here is when I stand on it it looks for entity type 1 which is a player uh, broadcasts OK I was just using that as a as a uh, testing mechanism for it earlier and uh, it's a good thing to have in your scripts um, if you want to put something somewhere to see if it's actually running at that point so um, so moving on, it says event block world get temp data ABC1. Um, it's an, this block initializes that variable to one, and then it sets its model to redstone. And I'll tell you why here in a second. Uh, it then checks to see if the I have active quest one, which is the sandstone quest. It spawns Gorgo, and then it sets that ABC temp data to zero. And the reason it does that for it can only when I'm standing on it, the collide function will continue to run as you can see by the OK here. So it just it's just running continuously. So I would spawn multiple gorgos if uh, if that was the case. Um, uh, so I only want to spawn one, so I, I, that's why I switch it back to zero after it's it's initialized to one, but then after it spawns one, it will set it to zero, so this only runs once. Um, so, and this guy can get rid of Gorgo. Uh, he's got a little script in him, which is helpful. Interact event it searches for nearby entities uh, within 20 blocks of type 2 which is NPCs uh, it then goes through them checks the, their display dot name if it's e equal to Gorgo it will despawn that um, NPC so that's that's fairly helpful if you get multiple NPCs here this guy now will just reset the variables um, that uh, that world variable that was set there. Um, something you could do is uh, also in the scripting you could just have uh, var variable x equals one. That's standard just uh, JavaScript setting the x to one, um, and then check for x equal to 1 and at the end set x 0. The only way this could be reset though is to uh, reinitialize the block. It couldn't be reset um, uh, remotely or something like that. So um, I just wanted to show you that. Um, uh, I don't have the quest anymore. If I had the quest I could he would uh, see he will spawn here and then he will also spawn on this one but he will only spawn once if I actually edit that block that's initializing it and he will spawn again but he, this one can only be changed right by changing that world variable so that's how you do that. Um, now then, also you could handle quests with locations um, blocks. Um, these are these are uh, built-in uh, custom NPC item. 
uh, new block that's been around and uh, this guy gives a location quest um, you, you can look at it right here real quick and it gives three locations B1, B2, B3 so that's what these three blocks are called and sometimes you have to be a certain distance away before they will fire okay there we go we got all three of them and that quest then chains into this other quest this original first quest which is the sandstone's quest so you could use it like that and then you could use the scripting block as like a final location or something like that oops I didn't I had re reset that I guess okay so and the way he says look in chest is very simple also I could just that's a function when he initializes he says uh, event NPC dot say look in chest it's a initialization event um, so that is how all that goes um, you could also I do have see if I have it in here yeah so I do have a second variable that you could use um, that I had commented out here as you see that double slash means that that line will not run so I took that out you could have these scripted blocks working um, all over the place to to you you would have to reach them they would look work like location blocks um, it, it adds another dimension of of checking here it checks for ABC the variable ABC 1 and the variable ABC 2 okay so let's make sure those are both reset and get the quest and see now when I walk over here nothing happens because I have to walk over to this other scripted block which sets um, ABC2 so I'll have this in the description so I so this one sets ABC2 and then this one when I walk over to that one that one sets ABC1 and it checks it again and Gorgo spawns once more so I'll have these scripts in the, in the description and uh, you can check them out. They're fairly simple uh, and you can do some you know pretty complex things with them if you want. You could like I said you could just chain together a couple of these location block quests or you could do these scripting block quests like at the end if you want somebody to appear or uh, maybe a final um, uh, like boss to be at the end before you uh, finish the quest you have to maybe get to the chest behind <laughs> the boss or something like that you know um, so there are some ideas for you um, I hope this was informative thanks a lot bye